Hello, I'm Dr. Mo from Straight Up Care, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what a peer support is. So a peer support worker is or can be people who have been successfully in recovery um, and through that process and can experience similar situations. So through that shared understanding and respect, mutual empowerment, peer support workers can help people become engaged in their recovery process. And that's not just recovery in terms of addiction, that's recovery in terms of mental health. Um, and when we think about addiction, sometimes we forget that there's process addiction. So when we're looking at sex, porn, gaming, technology, work, shopping, gambling, love slash codependency, binging, purging, those eating disorders, um, food in general, hoarding, trauma, um, along with all the substances as well too. So um, peer supports can successfully and effectively help extend that reach of treatment. So when we're thinking about somebody who has been in treatment or maybe who's helped themselves recover on their own um, and how they walk through the process, you can be an assistance to people as they're getting started in this process. Peer supports or um, healthcare navigators have been around for a long time. In the 1990s, people who experienced or walked through the journey of cancer also got someone who had been through cancer so they could have some understanding about what it's gonna look like on this trip. You know, what are we gonna do together and how can you help navigate the care, the treatments and all the things that go into something like that. And the same is true with people with lived experience for walking through mental health disorders um, as well as addiction disorders and thinking about the same as trauma and what it looks like to recover. Thinking about how you fit into all these different categories and ways that you can work with people. So when we use our matching algorithm to match peers um, with their peer support, we look at, you know, what are the determining factors that make you you? What have you done and been through in the past that makes you an expert in how to navigate that? And through the training, you also get the tools that you need to make sure that you have this individualized care, that you're open and consistent with what you help them with and what their needs are and how to say, well, this worked for me, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work for you. But let's work together and find some goals that set us on a path to making sure that you're successful. And so it's really just advocating for people, helping them navigate what what it looks like to be in recovery, again, whether it's mental health or it's addiction, those process addictions, whatever that might look like, and being able to assist, assist them along that role. Thank you.